Now they aren't very fast, but they sure are fun to see flying. I'm Bruce Hafner, and this is that Chopper Guy Show. So everybody loves the blimp, right, Terry? Everybody loves the blimp. What's it like flying a blimp? Wow, uh, I get that question a lot, and probably uh, the best thing I can say what it's like, it's kind of like a submarine and a wild bull ride combination, depending on the day and the thermals that you have. <laughs> my, one of my favorite sayings, blimping ain't easy. That's yeah, CP2, TB3, uh, off your uh, 11 o'clock east of Westmont. Yeah, I got you, thanks. If you watch golf, you would have seen 27 years of Snoopy Met Life. The golfers, they really like it quiet. They don't like a lot of noise. So we, we tone the engines down so they can make that $200,000 putt. I'll be holding this heading for three shots off the 10 T starting now. Copy that. Golf is probably one of the hardest things to televise. They'll say, fine, Phil Mickelson on hole seven. So we go to the hole, hole, hole seven, we do our shots there, and they go, no, no, no. We want you to go find Tiger Woods on hole 16. And then there's the granddaddy of them all. I've flown around the Goodyear blimp a bunch of times. But on one super special Super Bowl weekend, I was super lucky to have been invited to fly the Goodyear blimp. How cool is this? Now it doesn't get much bigger than flying the Goodyear blimp. And after my flight, they gave me this really cool blimp book. And it's full of history and all kinds of cool stuff about the Goodyear blimp. And check this out. They're filling it up with helium, just like your kid's birthday balloon. And senior pilot Jay Perdue says he can't get enough of flying the most famous blimp in the world. It's like flying a magic carpet ride. It really is. And it's 246 feet long, and it moves like a ship at sea. It's just as, as a ship in the water, we're a ship in the air. And uh, there's no autopilot. There's no sit back, relax, and monitor gauges kind of thing. It's, um, you're, you're calculating and you're, you're managing your air, your helium, your temperatures, um, your volumes, your ballast, where the fuel is, where the air is inside. So you're flying the thing the whole time, just like a helicopter? Absolutely, hands-on, controls all the time. The best part is, number one, the crew. The crew is, the crew is exceptional, and yeah, they become your family while you're on the road. You, you can't fly without having the whole crew there. And that's what makes this part of aviation so unique and so enjoyable to me. So it's got to be fun taking uh, passengers up for the first time. That's, that's, that's my biggest joy, sharing the experience of this, of this airship. It's just as much of a joy for me as it is for them. you got to have traveling blood in you. You cannot be the person that's, oh, I've got to go and see my grandma and i got to go see my Uncle Bob. We're, we're what, we, what you call road warriors because we're on the road seven days a week, 365. The blimp will do about 35. Now, but let's say we want to go to Miami. A good day for us is 250 miles. You've got to be in that blimp for 10 hours, 10 hours to get that 250 miles. And there were no bathrooms on board? Uh, there are no bathrooms on board. So you've got to be a little creative. 